In this video, I'll cover creating schedules for doors, windows, and cabinets. All schedules in Chief Architect work similarly and are consistent for all available schedule types. Let's begin by looking at the best practice for organizing and placing schedules, and then I'll go through and place a door, window, and cabinet schedule for this sample plan. You can place schedules in floor plan views, elevations, and in CAD details, which are separate workspaces and a best practice to keep your workspace organized and it makes it easy to have a separate scale for your schedule and other drawings. Let's look at the process using a cabinet schedule for the sample plan. You will find schedules underneath the tools menu and you come down to schedules and you'll see the list of available schedules. You can also click in a room, in this case if I click in the bathroom, and there is a tool in your lower edit menu to create a schedule by room. This allows you to choose what type of schedule you'll place. In this case if I place a cabinet schedule, you can then position it. Notice when I place this schedule, the Vanity C01, you'll see that listing down here. The nomenclature from the label in the cabinet changed to use the callout label. You can override that by double clicking inside the schedule and over on the label panel is the option to use the callout label in your floor plan view. When I turn that off, you can see as I zoom in, it goes back to using the nomenclature for that particular cabinet. Schedules can also be placed in an elevation view. If I use the wall elevation camera and take an elevation, underneath the tools menu, I'll come down underneath the schedules and place a cabinet schedule off to the side. In this case, you can see that I have to zoom out quite a ways since there are many cabinets inside of this view. This is a good example if I want to send this elevation view and also have a cabinet schedule on a set of construction drawings on my layout page, it's a good practice to place these schedules in a CAD detail. Let me close this view and let's take a look at the process of creating a schedule inside of a CAD detail. As I open up the project browser over on the right hand side of my screen, you'll see a specific category for schedules. Since I've already placed two existing schedules, you'll see a preview for each of these schedules for those that I've already placed. To create a schedule inside of a CAD detail, this is a new workspace. What I'll do is come up underneath the CAD detail, right click and say new CAD detail. Then I like to give it a good descriptive name. I'm going to give it a name for the closet, cabinet. This will create a new blank work area as you can see by the space opened up. Then underneath the tools menu, I'm going to come down for the schedules and I'm going to place the cabinet schedule. This will place it plan wide when you initially place the schedule. If you double click on the schedule itself, on the general panel, you'll find a number of settings you can change. I like to usually be descriptive. If I'm going to eventually make this for the closet cabinet schedule, I'll give it a good name. Just below is the option to include objects for all floors. If you are creating a schedule for the entire project, you'll want to leave this checked. If you want to do it by room or by floor, you can uncheck this. You can select which floor. You can also choose which room to include it for. And if I select in this case the closet, it will then isolate this schedule to that specific area. Schedules can include multiple categories. You can also exclude categories. As I expand the area for the cabinet, you can see that it's currently including base cabinets, wall cabinets, full height cabinets, and a few other items that it's not including. If you want to include these items, you can check them. You can also come down and choose additional areas if you want to include other items inside of a schedule and make it a multi-schedule for different categories. Down below in the columns area, there are many columns that you can include and exclude. As you look at the schedule that I've already placed, you'll see that I have a 3D elevation, a number, the nomenclature, and several other fields that are listed over in the included areas. You can easily select on items, add, or you can remove items to customize your schedules. You'll find display options, also preview options, and the option to scale your images. In the case of the thumbnail, you can use the scaling option. Underneath the attributes panel are options to control how your grid and alignment, position, and margins layout align style, fill style, text style, 
and labels if you want to choose a prefix for your cabinets. I might make these CL for the closet and then you can also choose what style of callout you would like to use or if you uncheck the callout it will use the cabinets nomenclature. This is controlled through the schedule on the label panel. As I close this dialog, you'll notice underneath my schedule category I now have three different schedules. I'll go ahead and select the top two and simply remove them. Let's go through the same process by placing a door and then separately a window schedule. I'll do this through the CAD detail in the same steps. I'll right click on the CAD details, I'll say new CAD detail, and in this case we'll begin with windows. A new workspace is open. I'm going to come underneath the tools area, down to schedules, and now I'm going to place a window schedule. Place the window schedule. You can see the different objects that are included for this sample plan. As we toggle back over into the floor plan view and we zoom in, you can see that it's now using the window schedule callout label that's controlled through the schedule itself. You can take this schedule. If you want to resort items, I can click on the row itself. I can pull them down and I can resort these. You can also come down into the status bar. You can use a find object in plan. This will pop you over into the floor plan view. You can see that it's highlighted the window and you can isolate exactly where it's located. As I go back into the window schedule, I'll select the very bottom round window and the lower status bar is an open row object with will open the window specification itself. I can come in here, make any modifications, be a little cautious. It may move the window into a location that you don't want if you start adjusting the sizes. I can come down maybe to the object information, make a comment that this is a custom window and any other information. Then I can open up the schedule itself, make sure that I've included that column back on the general panel come down into the items to include. As I scroll down and I'm looking for the comments, I'll come over here, click the add. You'll see it come down. There is a sort where you can move these up and down. And then you see that additional column for the comments appear and the text that was typed in for the comments to include for that round window. For the final schedule, I'll repeat the process underneath the CAD detail for a door schedule. New CAD detail. I'll give it a name. We'll just call it doors. A new work area is open. Underneath the tools menu, come down to schedules and place the door schedule. Very similar to the window schedule, as I move back over into the floor plan view, you'll see the labels that are positioned for the doors. As I scroll down, notice for the shower door that's a barn door, there is no label. When I double click and open up this door, there is a specific schedule panel that you'll find. And in this case, I have excluded it to be in the schedule by removing the check mark. You can remove and control which items are included in a schedule. Could also be that you have side lights near an entry door. You want to move that to be included in the schedule as a window. You can come down and make that setting and include it as a window even though it may be a door. So you can cross different schedule boundaries depending on what your desires are for your designs. These three schedules that I've created, you'll see underneath both the schedules area and since I've created them in the CAD detail, you'll also see them repeated up in here. These schedules are available by double clicking on them in your project browser. You can open up each one of these items and preview them. As you begin new plans, you can save schedules in your template plan and then as you populate your designs, they will automatically come in formatted with the way you prefer your schedules. In this sample plan I have open, all the available schedules were first placed in a template plan and then as the new plan was created, the schedules are then populated and ready to be sent to a layout sheet with all the preferred formatting, as you see in a few of the completed layout sheets. Well, that wraps up this video on schedules. To learn more, please see the built-in help file as well as our other videos. Thanks for watching.